It is with a heavy heart that I report the passing of an extraordinary actor, John Saigon. He passed away a couple days ago on Saturday, May 13th, 2017, at the age of 63 after a long battle with cancer. Some of you may know him for the variety of voices that he delivered in well-known Hollywood animated films, such as Cars, Wall-E, Up, Toy Story 3, Monsters University, and Inside Out, as well as Madagascar 2, Ice Age, The Meltdown, The Lorax, Despicable Me 2, you name it. If you watch a lot of TV, then you may know him from shows such as The Comish, Frasier, Diagnosis Murder, Becker, The X-Files, NYPD Blue, Judging Amy, The Shield, and Modern Family. And of course, he voiced a variety of characters for many of our beloved video games. His work closest to my heart is, of course, his incredible performance in Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty as the iconic third son of Big Boss, the perfect clone, Solidus Snake. I distinctly remember how memorable Solidus Snake was after I finished Metal Gear Solid 2 for the first time. There was obviously a lot of anonymity with this antagonist, but there were also little moments where Solidus would show a bit of vulnerability and open up his heart. And it is during these moments that John Sigan's performance shined through and really added a whole new layer to Solidus Snake that made him so memorable and iconic to me. Just little nuances in his performance that really brought the character to life. There is one particular scene from Metal Gear Solid 2 that I want to show you guys that I think not only highlights John Saigon's acting prowess, but is also, I think, very appropriate for this current situation. It's not power I want. What I wanted to take back from the Patriots are things like freedom, civil rights, opportunities. The founding principles of this country. Everything that's about to be wiped out by their digital censorship. Jack, listen to me. We're all born with an expiration date. No one lasts forever. Life is nothing but a grace period for turning the best of our genetic material into the next generation. The data of life is transferred from parent to child. That's how it works. But we have no heirs, no legacy. We brothers are called les enfants terribles, cloned from our father with the ability to reproduce conveniently engineered out. What is our legacy if we cannot pass the torch? Proof of our existence, a mark of some sort. When the torch is passed on from parent to child, it extends beyond DNA. Information is imparted as well. All I want is to be remembered by other people, by history. Well, Mr. Saigon, to you I say that uh, you have left with us an incredible legacy, a torch that we will carry forever with us, and you will be remembered by people and by history. Thank you, Mr. Saigon, for everything you've done for us. You've had more of an impact in my life than you'll know, and you will be missed dearly. And to any immediate family or friends, if you're watching this for whatever reason, uh, my condolences and know that his mark on the world is felt heavily and will never be forgotten.